For our next problem, we have an equation to solve. We have x cubed minus 4x squared minus x plus 4 is equal to 0. Since we have four terms, let's try factoring by grouping. With our first two terms, we have a common factor of x squared. When we factor that out, we have x squared times the quantity x minus 4. Minus, for our last two terms, we simply have a common factor of 1. Now remember, we're factoring out the negative 1. So inside the parentheses, we'll have left x minus 4. We need to change that positive sign to a negative when we factor out a negative equals 0. Now we have a common factor of x minus 4. From our first term, we have left x squared. And from our second term, we have left minus 1 is equal to 0. This is not yet completely factored because x squared minus 1 is the difference of two squares. So we have x minus 4 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we've completely factored the left-hand side. We'll apply the zero product principle and set each factor equal to 0. So we have x minus 4 is equal to 0, or x plus 1 is equal to 0, or x minus 1 is equal to 0. Solving our first equation, x minus 4 equals 0, gives us the solution x equals 4. With the second equation, solving x plus 1 is equal to 0, we get the solution x equals negative 1. And for our third equation, solving x minus 1 is equal to 0, we get x is equal to positive 1. So our solution set is the set containing 4, negative 1, or positive 1.